what's going on guys welcome to the channel if you guys are new to the channel my name is jules and today i am going to be working on my 2019 honda civic type r so today is going to be a little bit different today we're going to be installing this tough screen protector for the honda civic type r head unit so basically with this head unit is basically like an all-in-one system so of course it has the radio it has the navigation it has apple carplay and if you guys didn't know you can also hack the head unit you can install different apps such as like youtube Netflix. Netflix, Waze, et cetera, et cetera. So that is pretty dope as well. So today we're gonna be installing the screen protector. As you guys seen in my previous videos, I still have the screen protector that came with the car. It's not really a screen protector, but it's like, it's basically a plastic cover that came from the factory to protect the screen from scratching and stuff like that. And guys, yes, the screen does scratch very easily. So I highly recommend you guys get this screen protector and it also picks up your fingerprints. So definitely guys, the same way you would protect like your cell phone, you definitely want to protect the screen. I can imagine how much this costs. It probably costs a lot of money to replace from getting traction and scuffs. So highly recommend you guys definitely get the screen protector. So right now, I don't know if they're actually having a sale going on for the screen protector, but basically you can get this screen protector to your house for 10 bucks, free shipping, no handling, $10 shipped to your door. I don't know how long they're gonna have this going on, but guys, I highly recommend if you guys have a Honda Civic Type R, definitely, I'm gonna put the link in the description. You definitely wanna get this screen protector, especially for it being just $10 shipped to your door, free shipping on sale right now. Get it before the price jumps up. And I also hope this video helped you guys a lot. So we're gonna jump right into the video right now. As, as you guys can see, this is the head unit right here. I still have the factory plastic from when you first buy the car. If you guys didn't know, my Type R is a 2019 Honda Civic Type R. In the 2019 Honda Civic Type R, they upgraded the volume knob to a manual volume knob. In the previous year Type R, they actually had a touchscreen button where you basically touch it to turn volume up or down. I guess they wanted to make it a bit easier for you to adjust the volume on a fly which is pretty dope and i think it'll be a lot more better than having to keep tapping on the screen while you're driving i'm super glad that they made the little update right there so you're gonna see the 2019 head unit is a little bit different and then it has buttons now instead of all of these being touchscreen now i get to share this experience with you guys and i'm doing it now i'm finally taking this off so all you got to do is pull this back pretty dope I definitely got to clean it up. I have a microfiber towel right here. So I'm gonna try to wipe away any type of debris or dust that's on the screen. It might take you guys a minute to um, get a lot of debris off or kind of dust how the package it comes in so basically you just gotta open it so i'm gonna try to not put more dust and stuff over here so i'm just gonna rip it like this when you get it it's gonna be like this i took it out of the package this is how it looks it's called tough protect screen protector it comes with two screen protectors pretty nice Take out one for now. So in a package, it should be this screen protector accessory. Just say something like this. Screen protector accessories. Pretty dope. It comes with a dust absorber and it comes with a cloth to clean the screen. But the first thing I'm gonna do is try to align the screen to my liking. The screen itself does have edges on the side of it. So you can line it up. The only thing I would say that needs to be lined up is the buttons. If you want this whole thing to be in the middle of the buttons, that's the only thing that I see. So it lines up pretty good. So I got some uh, painter's tape or masking tape right here. I'm gonna tape it to my liking. 
of how much up and down do I want? I would say right here. And I would say just check your edges, make sure that's where you want it. Make sure you try to get this tape right there exactly into the middle. Now you're gonna use your dust absorber to lift one, lift it up and then try to get all the dust off. As you guys can see, the way I just laid it, I carefully just pulled it back, took it off, and then just leave it drop. Right? So now, and then it, it basically absorbed the screen. So basically now I'm just going to take the masking tape off. I might probably have got some bubbles somewhere. I think I might have one bubble. I think I just got it out. I think I just got it out. Yep, I got it out. So. So now you just got the last piece of the puzzle right here to pull back. Just got to be careful. And it should just pull off like this. And that should be it. You just got to lay your edges now try to fold this as much as I can and I'm gonna try to just go one way I'm just gonna go with this one way to make sure this goes flat and that's it Everything came out pretty good. As you guys can see, the screen protector is on. Everything looks good, very clean. Everything came out pretty nice, it's not bad at all. Well, as you guys can see, I just pulled off the last uh, second part and it just came right off very easily. If there's any bubbles on the edge, just go one way don't go this way of course toward the screen protector go away up from the screen protector if there is any kind of like uh looks like bubbles or anything on the side try to like go this way so it could be laid wherever the bubbles are try to push it to the edge of it so everything came out pretty good for me it looks very clean i like how it came out everything looks very clean looks dope looks very nice so now when I turn it on. A dynasty, they definitely had at least two more years. I'm not gonna say two more years. So now when it comes on, it looks very clean and crisp. You guys might be seeing a glare a little bit, but it should everything should be looking good. That's how it looks. I know it probably might have seemed like a little glare but there is not. This is how it came out. It came out very nice. There is an anti-glare and then there is a clear version. I went with the clear version so it could look more uniform because it doesn't cover the edges and you guys can see the reflection of the edges. So I wanted something to be very uniform and it looks like all in one and you guys don't even see it or notice it. So I didn't want, so I didn't go with the anti-glare, but you can go with 
the anti glare or you can go with the clear the clear is what i went with it looks very good it looks very clean i really like it i know if you guys are probably wondering um but wouldn't it have like glare and stuff like that i am going to get this car tinted so the tint would definitely help out a lot for glare super happy about the results now because you guys do not want to miss their sale so it's basically ten dollars guys ten dollars for the screen protector for your navigation and it comes with two of them and it's only 10 bucks and it's free shipping you cannot beat that guys you cannot beat that so ten dollars free shipping no brainer guys i am super excited with how the screen protector came out everything came out beautiful everything looks good looks very clean looks like nothing's on there everything looks perfect but guys if you guys like this video definitely hit the like button and if you're new to the channel subscribe because there's a lot more content that i have for the honda civic type r also hit the notification bell to be notified on when new videos drop also guys i have a question for you guys very soon i'm gonna be dropping the whole break-in period a lot of driving videos a lot of pov videos comment below what type of videos do you guys want to see from the honda civic type r also if you're new to the channel if you guys do not know i also have an 8 gen honda civic si as well you might have seen it in older videos that you've seen on this channel so yes guys i have a type r and the 8 gen honda civic si i have done a lot to the 8 gen honda civic si i know i get comments every single day about the transformation video you guys love how the transformation came out you guys are always asking me about parts and different things like that so i'm glad a lot of you guys subscribe to the channel really love the 8 gen honda civic si but comment below guys what kind of videos do you guys want me to make of the 8 gen honda civic si or the type r and yes guys i cannot wait the weather's finally breaking here so the weather's going to be beautiful i am going to be making a lot of driving videos pov videos sharing a lot more things about this car with you guys in the process so i'm super excited about that hopefully with this quarantine thing hopefully things do get better we could have car meets car shows we can meet up with type r owners as well because there's a type r owner group in this in my area that they invited me to their page so it'll be pretty dope to finally meet a lot of those guys as well so that is pretty dope i can share that experience with you guys but comment below guys what kind of videos do you guys want me to post or if there's just a regular question that you guys want me to make a video of a q a anything comment it below it definitely really helps me to come up with different content for you guys as well and also guys i want you guys to comment below what is a good time that you guys usually watch videos maybe that would help me as well with dropping videos at a certain time comment below like when you're at home chilling in your living room and you want to watch a show or tv or you want to go on youtube and watch a video comment below what time do you guys watch videos online so maybe around that time or before that time i could drop videos as well if there's anything that you guys want to achieve find your inner drive the thing that drives you to take a step toward your goals every single day and make it happen peace